going on guys welcome back to the channel as you have probably seen on twitter and in discord today it's something called startnet and how you can claim your tokens strk to put into your Serera account as ethereum or withdraw that as cash and on this video i'm going to take you for a full guide including this right here and how you can get your ethereum into your Serera account so first of all because i've already done this i can't actually go through step by step on the first stage but we'll talk about the next stage afterwards but i'll leave a link to this article in the description below of this video video but it's straightforward guys honestly so it'll tell you all the steps we need to do there's links in here as well and um, but basically you'll head across um to starknet you'll claim your your kind of your rewards on there so towards the bottom of the page you'll have claim strk this is all legit by the way guys you tick the two boxes again i'll try on the through as quick as i can and this is pretty much the easy part. Just let your wallet, you know, whichever browser you want to do it on. Um, I did mine on Chrome, I think. And you would need to create an account. Again, dead simple. It takes two minutes to do. There's a YouTube video right there. Create a StartNet wallet. You'll have an extension towards the top. So you see my MetaMask on here. You'll have an extension, much like MetaMask, at the same time as well. When you come onto that, you'll unlock your wallet. You know, put your password in, for example, um, at the same time. Once, you, once that's all sorted, so you've got your wallet sorted, you connect your wallet, make sure you can come back and connect. You might have to refresh at that stage as well. You'll come onto this, this page here. So once you've connected, you'll hit the second bar across here to start at EX. Um, and then you click sign in with your Serrera account. Sign in with your Serrera account. Um, claim, your, claim your tokens. Follow all these steps. When you come to the last stage on here, so again, skip all these questions. Voting delegation, skip that. And then you literally just claim your your tokens. And then this might take a little while. So you can see here, claim your tokens on step 19. You claim your token. Now that might take a few hours at the moment in time. There's a big massive queue. I saw someone on Twitter. About 2,500 in the queue. So that might take a few hours to do. And that stage one, that's probably the easiest bit. If you do get stuck on this bit, feel free to put a comment in this video or you know on DM me on Twitter at the same time. But that should be the easy bit. Download the wallet. Follow all these steps again. I'll leave a link to the description below on this video. Moving on to the next stage, and that is creating a Qcoin account, KU coin. Again, I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. Create an account is all legit again at the same time. And you'll come across to your page and you'll come across to deposits. You want to deposit in your Qcoin account. You want to select your coin, so that will be STRK, Starknet. The network is also Starknet at the same time as well. And you'll have an address. I blame Blade Man out here, not quite sure um, if if that's right or not. But I blame Man out just for the sake of this video. And you can see you can copy that address. So make sure you copy that address um, and click OK. So that address has been copied now, and you can use that moving forward. So you can deposit into your Qcoin account. Now, when you come onto the top here on your extensions, you might have MetaMask here. You'll also hopefully have the um, Argent X, um, the Starnet Wallet. Click into that, and obviously I have nothing here at the moment in time, but you should have some Starnet in here, hopefully. Um, all being well, 111 I think I had. Now you want to send that. Again, I have nothing here, so I can't show you the full demonstration. Um, and that will where you put your, your wallet address in. So that address you put in a moment ago from your Qcoin, You'll put that into that box in there. Side note with that as well, guys, you might want to put a little bit less in your total amount just because you can cover the gas fees at the same time. Moving on to the next stage, and that is staying on Qcoin. Again, I do appreciate it's long-winded, but trust me, guys, it is worth it. You go on to markets or trade, sorry, so on to spot trading, and that'll bring up this sort of tab. Again, don't worry, this looks very complicated, but it, trust me, it is straightforward. Click onto here, and obviously we want um, STRK. I want to change that to US, basically US dollars, basically. And that will give you the market for that coin. Now, to sell the coin, if you want to sell the coin, if I just move this across very slightly, you'll see on here, you get to sell. Now, to keep it very simple, if you want to just go to market, best market price, you want to put 100% of your coins in here. So again, that, that should say 111, for example. And you want to sell that coin. Again, obviously, for this example, I can't show you because I've already done mine. Um, but you should have a sell button right here. You can do limit. You can put the price yourself and maybe get a better price. But honestly, guys, instead of faffing around, just do the market price, best market price, all your coins, and sell, basically converting your coins, converting your STRK coins 
for well, basically dollars. Next stage requires Coinbase. Again, I'll leave a link to Coinbase in the description below. It's probably the main hub for crypto for beginners. And again, if you haven't signed up, it's very simple to sign up. Once you've signed up or signed into Coinbase, you come across here to send and receive. And much like you've done before with the other coin, come on to receive, but you're after the dollars this time. So the coins you've just sold on um, Qcoin, which is back into dollars, you'll click this right. Again, I blurred my address out for this time being. You'll copy this address or the QR code on here, copy the address, you go back to Qcoin, convert your US dollars into this wallet on here to Coinbase. And then give it about five, 10 minutes, it might take a bit, little bit longer if it's your first transaction. And then that US dollars will come into your Coinbase account. Once that transaction has been completed and you can see that dollar amount in your account over on Coinbase. Again, it might take a little while to come through um, if, it's, again, if it's your first transaction, perhaps. What you can then do is obviously withdraw that into your bank account if you wanted to, change it to Great British Pounds and put that into your bank account, that's absolutely fine. Or you can go ahead and obviously buy a fee, which I'll be doing, um, you know, and put that into Surreal, which we'll come on to in a moment in time. So you can buy a fee in this way, going through your wallet. And if you wanted to, what I tend to do, is click on to more, advanced trade, and go across to the advanced trade. That's one thing that I've always done, to be honest. And obviously you can change your um, dollar amount here into Great British Pounds. Again, just do it mark, you can just buy it, um, or convert that into Great British Pounds as you'd like. Or you can obviously do Ethereum on here as well at the same time. So you can buy Ethereum with your with your dollar amount and exchange it for um, Great British Pounds. There's two sort of options here that you want to do moving forward. So that's completely up to you guys what you want to do. Either buy Ethereum to put into Sorare, into your MetaMask, into Sorare, which come on to the moment, or put that back into your bank account back and version it back to Great British Pounds as you can see on here. And then put it back into your bank account. Moving on to the final couple of steps, guys, hang in there. The next step is to download MetaMask. Now, as you can see, I already have the MetaMask here. It shouldn't take too long to download. Get that all done and ready at the same time. Once you've got that then extension, leave it there. We'll come back to that in just one moment. Head back to Coinbase, click on send and receive. Now under here, you'll hopefully have your Ethereum that you've just purchased um, over on Coinbase. If not, hit refresh, it should be there. Once you've got that Ethereum, you obviously click on the Ethereum. Then when you click two on here, this is where your MetaMask will come into play. As you can see, there's my recent one here. Here's my MetaMask wallet. But just to confirm that, you'll click onto your MetaMask. This is very long windy, by the way. You'll see your address at the top here. As you can see, I've got some Ethereum and some Red that I owned from a crypto game I played a couple of years ago. But anyway, you'll click copy your Ethereum then your address on here. So copy that, click that, copied, move back to Coinbase. As you can see, it's already there for me, but also you can go ahead and paste that in to that, that search bar there. Once you've done that, you'll hit preview send, send that across. Again, that might take a few gas fees on there. So you might want to fiddle around with the, with the amount, you might want to send a little bit less to cover the gas fees, for example. And then that if you, and then it's then in your MetaMask wallet. And the final step, guys, is heading over to Sorare. Clicking on your wallet, as you can see on here, add funds, add Ethereum. Again, if I move this across very slightly so you can see this, you want to add from an ETH wallet. Now, I have linked my MetaMask up with Sorare um, very recently, but all you need to do, guys, is literally connect your MetaMask to Sorare, and you'll see you'll have an external wallet balance of whatever amount you've got in there. And literally, it's easy as pressing deposit, and you're sorted. Um, again, that step might take a bit longer for you if you haven't done this before, but just connect your MetaMask wallet to Sorare. It's all legit, and that should show up on there, guys. Hopefully, that's been useful. Sorry it's long-winded, but probably is an easy way of doing that. I probably skipped through a few steps. I do apologize if so. I'm no crypto expert. Um, in a nutshell, you need to download Coinbase, um, Qcoin, and MetaMask. So a few things to download. Um, obviously, obviously start that wallet as well at the same time at the start. I'll leave a link to all those at the bottom um, of this video in the description below. Any questions, feel free to fire away. Again, I'm no expert, but I'll try to help where I can. Good luck, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.